Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to name organic compounds. I've also made another video about naming organic compounds. So if you want to watch that, this video is going to be a little bit easier for you. So we have some compounds here and we're going to name it. I'm going to name them. So here in the first one, our parent chain is benzaldehyde. You can clearly see that we have our functional group here, which is aldehyde, and it's attached with the benzene ring. So our parent group is benzaldehyde. Now we have two substituents. One is chloro and another is bromo. Now we should number the benzene ring. So one, four. Okay. Right. Or we can also number it from the other way, right? Like, what if we number it in this way? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So in the first case, we'll get a numbering two and four. I mean, at two and four, we have our chloro and the bromo group, I mean the substituents. And in another one, we'll get a four, and a six, our numbering. So which one is the lowest number? So we have to ensure that we always get the lowest number in terms of naming an organic compound. So our four or six will not be valid here. So we'll go with the two and four, All right? So our name of the compound will be four dash bromo dash two Chloro and our parent is benzaldehyde. Now we have to write bromo before chloro because B comes before C, and we have to write the name of an organic compound alphabetically. So, and we always have to put a dash between a letter and a number. Right, so. Here in the second one, we have uh, another compound where our parent is anisole. So anisole, anisole is this, I will just... We circle inside, uh, okay, I'll draw it a little bit better so that you get it a little bit easily. Okay. So this particular compound is called anisole, where we have a functional group named methoxy, methoxy group. So we have our parent chain here, in this case, uh, anisole, and we will number this chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can number this way, or we can number in this direction, I mean clockwise and anti-clockwise, three, four, five, and six. Now, in the first way, we get a number three and five, and in the other way, we get a number three and five. So in both cases, we get three and five. So let's just name it in, in, in two, ways first then we'll just differentiate that which one we actually need right so let me clear this a little bit so in first case in first case we get three five not three five we get three dash bromo five chloro anisole and in other way we get five promo three chloro anisole now which one we actually uh need i mean which one is valid here uh out of these two 
we can only keep one, right? And you see that in both cases we get a like three and five numbering. No, so we have to decide the lowest numbering. But in this case, three and five and three and five we get both. So we have to go with uh, the alphabetic order. You know that B comes before C, so we will go with this one, and where we will also get a lowest numbering, and we have to number these from and like with numbers these in an increasing order like after three then five so this is an increasing order increasing order okay so here in this compound you might have a little bit of problem because um you can see that we have so many functional groups here at four so the first one is our um acid group this is our hydroxy group and this is uh, our amine group and this is a nitro group so i'll just write this is hydroxy this is our acid group i mean this is amine group and this is our nitro group right so which one will be our parent chain here so you know that we when we have multiple functional groups you have to go with a priority first so out of these four functional groups these acid groups comes first so and after acid groups usually comes the aldehyde one and there's a list you'll find somewhere not in the textbook uh most probably but um it's a different way you can find the priority and i have also provided the priority in my previous video um, somewhere we can check that so our acid group will get the priority here so our parents is like benzoic acid here because this particular compound here we called benzoic acid and we go we consider this as our parent so we'll name this particular compound with the parent benzoic acid now we'll number this one one two three four five we won't number in this direction i mean clockwise because you can clearly see that our substituents are getting a lower number if we count it in uh anti-clock in an anti-clockwise direction so what would be the name of this compound here so you can clearly tell that a comes before h and h comes before M. So you can clearly write that 3 dash amino. I'll just clear it a little bit like this name. So you can see this one a little bit better. So 3 amino dash 2 dash hydroxy dash for nitro and our parent is benzoic acid all right now what about the last one here so we have our aldehyde group here cho and as i told you that aldehyde group group will get the priority for the acid in most cases so here our parent chain is a benzaldehyde because Benzaldehyde is this one, so this is benzaldehyde. And now we number it first one, two, three, four. We number in a way so that we that in a way so that we get you know the lowest number. You get the idea right now, I think. So five and this one is six. All right now this group here is called methoxy because you know that oh group is called hydroxy instead of h we have a metal group here so we call this methoxy so we have a methoxy group here and we have a metal group here we have a chloro group here and we have an ethoxy group here all right now which one will come first? You know that um, we have to name it alphabetically, right? So we have our parent 
bezaldehyde here and um, C comes before M and also before E. So we will start with our chloro group here. So that's at, our, at position three. So three chloro dash and E comes before M. So we will write five dash ethoxy dash. Now we have a problem here, right? So in these both cases, we have two M's. Now, which one will come first? So if you look carefully, you'll see that this is meth and this is meth. And after meth, it comes Y here and it comes and I'll just mark it with different color. Here comes O and here comes Y here. So O comes before Y. So we'll go with the methoxy group first. So we'll write 5 ethoxy 2 dash methoxy 4 methyl and our parent is benzaldehyde so i hope you guys have at least got an idea got an idea how to name organic compound and i will see you later in another video take care